good morning students once again i welcome you to my video lectures on signals and systems now today i will work out your problems on inverse z transform by power series expansion method first problem these are the three problems determine time domain signals corresponding to the following z transforms first one x of z equal to 1 plus 2 z to the power of minus 2 plus 4 z to the power of minus 4 with roc mod z greater than 0 first problem so mod z greater than 0 that means it is a right sided sequence mod z greater than 0 now you can write this x of z as 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 z to the power of z to the power of minus 1 z to the power of minus 1 1 plus 2 z to the power of minus 2 plus 4 z to the power of minus 4 or x of z equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 z to the power of minus 2 its coefficient is 2 z to the power of minus 4 its coefficient is 4 now this corresponds to coefficient of z to the power of 0 because z to the power of 0 is unity this corresponds to the coefficient this is for n equal to 0 this is for n equal to 0 this is for n equal to 0 now this is coefficient corresponding to n equal to 2 n equal to 2 and this is coefficient corresponding to n equal to 4 4 therefore what is this this is x of 0 equal to 1 next x of 1 is 0 so there is no x of 1 term here n equal to 1 is not in this problem therefore x of 1 is 0 next x of 2 is equal to look into the coefficient 2 and lastly x of 4 is equal to so this is how you have to work out this problem. Now, in the same fashion, you can work out the other problems. Now, I will work out this one, this one, okay? I can also solve this one. Now, x of z equal to, so from 5 to 10, so mod z, greater than 0. Here also for this problem also mod z greater than 0 that is right sided sequence. First 1 by 5 z to the power of minus 5 plus 1 by 6 z to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by 7 z to the power of minus 7 1 by 8 z to the power of minus 8 1 by 9 z to the power of minus 9 plus 1 by 10 z to the power of minus 10. So this corresponds to n equal to 5. This corresponds to n equal to 6. This corresponds to n equal to 7. This corresponds to n equal to 8. This corresponds to n equal to 9. And this corresponds to n equal to 10. Therefore, x of 5 x of 5 equal to 1 by 5 x of 6 equal to 1 by 6 then x of 7 equal to 1 by 7 x of 8 1 by 8 x of 9 1 by 9 then x of 10 equal to 1 by 
So this is how you have to work out. This is the, this is all the problem because the problem is already in power series. Now next next problem. Next problem. 1 plus z to the power of minus 1 to the power of 4. Now we shall expand this. 1 plus z to the power of minus 1 square into 1 plus z to the power of minus 1 square equal to a plus b whole squared formula. a squared plus b squared plus 2ab into a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Next, multiply. 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 plus 2z to the power of minus 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 plus z to the power of minus 4 plus 2z to the power of minus plus 3 plus 2z to the power of 3 next plus plus 2z to the power of minus 1 plus 2z to the power of 2z to the power of minus 3 2z to the power of minus 3 2z to the power of minus 3 here 1, 2, 3, 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 plus 2 z to the power of minus 1 plus z to the power of minus 2, z to the power of minus 4 plus 2, 2 z to the power of 2 z to the power of minus 3, sorry, 2 z to the power of minus 3, 2 z to the power of minus 3. Next, 2 z to the power of minus 1 plus 2 z to the power of minus 3 plus 4 z to the power of minus 2. Simplify. Now simplifying 1 plus 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 z to the power of minus 2 z to the power of minus 2 that is 1 plus 1 plus 4 that is 6 z to the power of minus 2 plus z to the power of minus 1 2, 2, 4, z to the power of minus 1, plus z to the power of minus 3, here 2, 2, plus 4, z to the power of minus 3, plus z to the power of minus 4, 1 here, one, one and only term is here, that is z to the power of minus 4 z to the power of minus 4. Now this corresponds to n equal to 0. This corresponds to n equal to 2. This corresponds to n equal to 1. This corresponds to n equal to 3. This corresponds to n equal to 4. Therefore, x of 0 equal to 1. x of 2 equal to 6 x of 1 is equal to 4, x of 3 is equal to 4, lastly x of 4 is equal to, is equal to x of 4, x of 4, 4 is equal to 1, 1. So this is how you have to work out uh, problems on uh, power series expansion. In the next class, I will take up long division method. Thank you.